many devices can you think of that use electricity? Our computerized, automated world would quickly come to a halt without it. The flow of electrical charge through the countless wires and complicated circuits would not be possible without voltage, the prime mover in electrical systems. Voltage causes electricity to flow through wires. That is, of course, unless it's cut off at the source. The flow is very similar to the way water would stop flowing through a hose if its source was cut off. An electrical system is usually a circuit. The charge comes from a source, then voltage moves it along a conductor, which carries it to a device that uses the electricity, like a toaster, for example. Then the conductor carries the charge back to the source to complete the circuit. Some circuits are only made of two wires, but for technicians like Terry Robertson, a circuit can be very complicated. This is the 3585 Spectrum Analyzer. It is a complex electronic measuring device used to measure the different components in a frequencies. It has 53 printed circuit boards with a multiple number of circuits upon each board, and it's very complex to troubleshoot. My job as a technician is to troubleshoot and calibrate this instrument up to customer specifications. In doing so, we use the voltmeter and also a block diagram and a schematic. In an instrument this complex, we break it down into block diagrams to determine which section our trouble is in. In this particular instrument, we have found that it's in the video filter, the A15 board. This is the schematic for the video filter. We see that we should have five volts on test point one, and by following the path through, we come to test point three, test point four, test point five. All of these should, should have five volts for the correct signal. Test point one on this board should have approximately five volts, and it does. By following the schematic further through, we can see that test point three should have approximately five volts, and it does. Going through test point three, we can go up to test point four, and we find that test point four, which should have five volts, is potentially a zero volt, zero volts, which is ground. Going back for, between test point three and test point four, we find a capacitor that goes directly to ground, and we can measure the top of that cap, and we find that it is also zero volts, which tells us that it is shorted to ground. In my job as a technician, it is very important that I understand the properties of voltage pushing current or electrical charge through a circuit. In this example that we have just seen, it is evident that I would not have been able to fix the circuit without knowing these properties. Because voltage is a prime mover and acts like force, you can always add more when you need it. For example, each battery in this flashlight only produces 1.5 volts. But the bulb needs 4.5 volts to shine brightly. So, 1.5 added three times is enough voltage to do the job. When batteries are recharged, more voltage is being added. Electrical systems are an important part of our lives. But even though we move it around the country and use it in so many ways, no one has ever seen electricity. Electrons are simply too small to be seen. Still, anyone who works with an electrical system must understand where the source is, know how to follow the flow of electricity using a circuit diagram, and how to find the voltage at any point along the circuit. In the same way that force determines how an object moves in a mechanical system, voltage determines how a charge will move in an electrical system. Without voltage, electricity just doesn't move. In fact, it doesn't even exist. Hey! 